Hello! In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning uh, two different ways to make a piece move on your art. So the parts that we're going to be working with today are the controller board, which we learned last time, our toggle tool, a gear motor, and a servo motor. So to start, the main difference between the gear motor and the servo motor is that the gear motor will do continuous rotation whereas the servo motor will do 180 back and forth and I will show you examples of both. The first gear that we're going to look at is the gear motor. The gear motor is the one that rotates continuously. So like last time, I used my toggle tool and I pushed down on each tab and inserted the wires. Now I'm going to show you the coding for what it took to make it spin. And then I will show you what that looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is my wires are hooked up in number two. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And as you can see here, you can move your toggle to either really slow or really fast. And if you go this direction, it's going to move clockwise. And if you go this direction, it's going to move counterclockwise. So I'm going to set it on... 40 and I'm going to hit save and I'm going to say slow turn and say okay and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to play. Alright and now I'll show you what that looks like. And this is what the turning looks like. All right, and I'm gonna turn that off. Next, we're going to look at the servo motor. And the servo motor is, you're gonna attach it a little bit differently. It has little prongs that you're going to slide over these. So you're gonna clip that in, all right? And then I'm going to use the same piece I used for the last one and attach it. And I'm going to show you what that programming looks like. First thing I'm going to do for the servo motor is come over here to the servo section and hit number four. Because that is where I clipped on the prongs. And as you can see right now, it is set to zero and you can see where this little yellow line is to show you um, what it's going to do when it moves. So if you watch when I move this, that yellow line moves as well showing you the direction that it's going to be moving. So this just makes a 180 line back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and save this as off. And then I'm going to save it as 180 on. All right, so I'm going to go over here to Sequence Builder, and I'm going to say 180 on. And I'm going to say wah off. I wanted to go a little faster, so I'm going to do point one and I'll do point two and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make this a loop so that it just keeps going and I'm going to show you what that looks like. and this was that and I did end up adjusting the speed a little bit more so that she had more rotation to her head and so I just made it point fifty and point fifty Okay, so that's how you make two different motors work for your project. 
all depends on what you're wanting to do but between the two of those you can pretty much make anything you want move all right good luck and have fun moving in your peace